thing. I said things I didn't say. Um, and I said, you know, I, I said, point to the timestamp. Give me a timestamp in the video where I said something racist. I know this is awkward, a white chick talking about this, but I know quite a few black Americans who feel very strongly that they don't want to dress in African costume. They are not African. They are American, damn it. And so they'll do the the saggy jeans and the b-boy gear and they'll buy stuff from like, you know, Diddy and Jay-Z and Kanye. But that's their culture. Oh boy, off to a great start already. So today I'm going to re be reviewing uh, a YouTuber by the name of Liliana K. Uh, she seems to be an anti-SGW reactionary channel of sorts. Currently she's come under fire for making a couple ignorant comments about uh, MK11, uh, most notably about Jax's ending and how uh, she disagrees with it for multiple reasons that totally aren't uh, because she's a racist, but I'll let you guys decide for yourselves. Now, I have evidence for why I think Jax is a villain. A misguided, bitter man wipes out half the people in a portion of the universe to save humanity from itself. You might think I'm describing Jax, but I'm not. I'm actually describing Thanos from, from the Marvel Universe. Thanos is decidedly the villain in Infinity War. Thanos is one of the classic villains in the Marvel Universe. I like his comic book version where he's in love with Lady Death better, but that was his motivation in the movies. That uh, various races, various planets, they were beyond saving, so, you know, he, he got the power to alter reality itself, and instead of just creating more food and space to solve the problem of overpopulation... He killed half the people in those galaxies. And it's not like they had a violent death or they just winked out of existence. Time changed. Reality changed. It's a mark of a villain. That's what Jax did. So it has nothing to do with his race. It's what a villain does. I didn't write the ending. I didn't write Infinity War. You can disagree with me. On that, you can think he made the right choice, but that doesn't make me racist. So I don't really feel like I should have to explain like how stupid this comparison is. So she compares Thanos to Jax and saying that, you know, since Thanos wiped out half of life in the universe, that is the same as trying to prevent slavery and there, you know, in turn also stopping the descendants of slaves from existing. I mean, when she further elaborates on an argument, that's what it comes down to. It's really ridiculous that she actually believes those two things are even remotely similar. But sure, um, yes, wiping out half the universe is totally the same as preventing slavery and therefore presenting uh, the descendants of slaves from existing. Um, other people got triggered by me using the term ethnostate. And it was really interesting because perhaps that wasn't the, the word to use to keep things calm. I own that. But again, it doesn't make me wrong. Ethnostates are not just about race. They're about cultures. And if there were indications of multiculturalism in that ending, okay. But there weren't. It was all very Afrocentric. So here she tries to make an argument that uh, Jax's ending like had no multiculturalism. Like, and if it did, that'd be better. She's like, but instead, you know, the the writers went and made an ethno state sort of thing. I mean, for one, they're in Africa, right? And she's like, oh well, you know, it's very Afrocentric. Well, no shit, they're in fucking Africa. In a paradise, I don't think we, some of us don't, don't see that as, as ideal race relations. It certainly wasn't Martin Luther King's dream. 
yeah, I'm totally sure that Martin Luther King would have a problem with slavery just not happening at all. He'd totally have an issue with that. Um, Jack's is ending. Do you notice something different about Jax and not the clothes? He's got his human arms, not his cybernetic arms, his regular arms. He has those back. There are a few things wrong with this. One, this means that this is not the same Jax that changed time. What happened to that Jax? Does he not exist? Who is this Jax? This is not the same person. I don't know. Changing time is weird like that, especially in a fucking video game. Because the original Jackson Briggs lost his arms. So who is now changing time? Who is in control of all this stuff? That's a bit of a that's a bit of a logical problem. But the other complaint is some would claim this is ableist. Because this is this is a big debate among people with disabilities whether they would go back and make it so that they would not have their disability now some people would say yes absolutely i don't want this other people would say um no these are part of me the world should accept me for who i am and i fall into it's funny because certain things would I want complete use of my hands back? Yes, absolutely. Would I go back and make it so my appendix didn't rupture and I ended up with gangrene when I was 16? No, I wouldn't change that. And here she just goes off on some tangent about this disability that Jax has by not having any fucking arms, by having bionic arms. Uh, it's a problem because uh, people with disabilities might look up to Jax and some people would rather not go back and, like, fix their disability if they have the opportunity to, which is fucking dumb, considering she literally just said, like, yeah, if it was me, I'd want to get my hands back. It's like, okay, so, I mean, where do you stand on this issue? Also, not to mention, it's not like Jack specifically decided to, you know, get his arms back or fix his arms. His arms being fixed are a result of time changing. So by him being born in Africa, he is never in the U.S. Armed Forces. He never confronts Ermac, and Ermac never blows his fucking arms off. So he keeps them. It's not like he just wished for his arms to be fixed. His arms are fixed in result of changing the course of history. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, I just thought her uh, critique of the Jack's ending was really dumb and nitpicky and just kind of wanted to throw my own two cents in on the issue. If you guys think she was right, wrong, you know, tell me in the comments. If you think I was right or wrong, let me know also in the comments and I'll catch you guys in the next video.